Welcome to this new devlog for my robotic arm. This week I finally continued to work on my robotic arm. I first needed to fix my 3D printer as it was broken from the last video. So the, what went wrong with the 3D printer? One thing was that I played around too much with the feeding speed. I had a few problems there as I broke the nozzle of my 3D printer and had to replace it. I wasn't entirely sure if the problem back then was just the feeding, uh, just the heating element of the 3D printer or if it also had to do with the feeding element. So I replaced that as well and there I had to adjust the, the speed of which the filament gets inputted into the 3D printer as it was a bit different to the old feeder. And there I thought I broke something because I hadn't calibrated it right and it was feeding a bit too fast and a bit too slow so I had to calibrate that again to now match the right nozzle and then after I fixed that I made a few test prints. I honestly didn't do too much with the feeding speed, it all just suddenly worked out quite well. I made a few test prints before that and there were some problems there but I didn't really change anything. Then also a big thing why my 3D prints were failing sometime was because the filament snapped off in the field before the feeding element which meant there was no nothing coming back in so I, the 3D printer would just run and dry. I found out that, that the reason for that was because I put my 3D printer in my room up here where I have my window on sometimes, uh, then I close the window and through that the room is heated up again, then it's cooled down and through that the filament just breaks because the stress on it is the temperature difference made it more snappy. So I moved my 3D printer back down to, the, to my father's office and there is a constant temperature of the room and yeah, that's most of the problems that I had with the 3D printer and it finally works again and I can now print quite reliably again, which is very good. After that, I checked all my servos as I had some problems there since my last video where I broke two of them and I had to reorder a few because I had, didn't have enough to control the robotic arm. I checked every single one with a quick Arduino script that would just rotate them, I plugged everything, every single one in. And that's basically it for the servos. I found two that were broken and the rest of them, I think I have four, which are all right. So I even have one spare now. So after I fixed my 3D printer, I could finally continue to work on the track. If you don't know, my robotic arm is supposed to be lifting up a ball from a ball pit up into a track system. 50 times in a row without failing, the ball should run down the track system back into the ball pit again and there I'm still working on the track system. Since my last video I already have made parts of the uh, pickup system, this is some time ago where I made this, I made about 50% of the whole thing. So now I just have to fix a few other problems that are from the top side. The problem that I had that the balls were still a bit too fast because the track itself was a bit too steep overall. So I had to go ahead and design a few parts on the top. 50% of it were done already as I said. So I had to redesign some stuff and the biggest problem was though that the parts itself are hanging down a bit which caused the top up uh, the top uh, curves to be a bit vertically in the wrong direction which meant that the balls were like on the right side of the track and not in the middle so i had to redesign that to adjust this this works now and that's where i'm currently standing i'm still printing all the rest of the parts i also had to print a few support beams because i want to mount this track eventually on the robotic arm plate so I on the top side on the bottom I redesigned the pickup curve to have a place for a screw to be screwed in the plate then I also printed those two support beams and they're supposed to hold up the track to a, 
to not fall down, to not wiggle around so that the arm can precisely lay down the balls and pick them up from those tracks. And that's why I'm currently standing. I hope that I will have the this whole uh, track system finished until the next video so that I can finally start to focus on the control of the robotic arm itself and that I can finally finish this project in hopefully two or three weeks from now which then means that I can work on new projects which I'm happy about because I'm now I've almost been working on six months on this robotic arm and I want to finally build some of the other ideas that come into mind on times where I wasn't really feeling the robotic arm project and I have some cool ideas for that so stay tuned and if you liked the video you can give it a like subscribe you know what to do and then also if you want to join my discord server you maybe have some projects of your own and just want to get some help or just want to hang out in the community and find some like-minded people the link is in the description join the discord server and i see you in the next video